To put it simply, an ecosystem is a group of elements that interact with one another. Ecosystems can be large, like the jungle in a tropical rainforest or the Australian outback, or tiny, like tadpoles in a puddle or bacteria on your skin. And just like the kangaroos and koala bears in the Australian outback, data lives inside its own ecosystem too. Data ecosystems are made up of various elements that interact with one another in order to produce, manage, store, organize, analyze, and share data. These elements include hardware and software tools and the people who use them, people like you. Data can also be found in something called the cloud. The cloud is a place to keep data online rather than on a computer hard drive. So instead of storing data somewhere inside your organization's network, that data is accessed over the internet. So the cloud is just a term we use to describe the virtual location. The cloud plays a big part in the data ecosystem. And as a data analyst, it's your job to harness the power of that data ecosystem, find the right information, and provide the team with analysis that helps them make smart decisions. For example, you could tap into your retail store's database, which is an ecosystem filled with customer names, addresses, previous purchase, and customer reviews. As a data analyst, you could use this information to predict what these customers will buy in the future and make sure the store has the products in stock when they're needed. As another example, let's think about a data ecosystem used by a human resources department. This ecosystem would include information like postings from job websites, stats on the current labor market, employment rates, and social media data on prospective employees. A data analyst could use this information to help their team recruit new workers and improve employee engagement and retention rates. But data ecosystems aren't just for stores and offices, they work on farms too. Agricultural companies regularly use data ecosystems that include information, including geological patterns and weather movements. Data analysts can use this data to help farmers predict crop yields. Some data analysts are even using data ecosystems to save real environmental ecosystems. At the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, Coral reefs all over the world are monitored digitally so they can see how organisms change over time, track their growth, and measure any increases or declines in individual colonies. The possibilities are endless.